Now that summer is here, and we've had a little time for our lawns or gardens or plants to kind of settle in there. It might be time to give them a little bit of a fine tuning. I think it'd be a great idea. That's why Adam Bachman is from is here from Bachman's on the gorgeous CCO rooftop. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. It's beautiful out here. Your gardens are looking fantastic. Thank Our you. Lawn especially. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lawn yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. and it's green. Great. Absolutely. So, but this is that time of year where we're starting to see a little bit of the problem, the mm -hmm. heat. Yep. Maybe not as much rain. Exactly. So, Jason, as you mentioned, the lawns, people want their lawns looking nice and green and sure. clean. Um, dog spots are one of the most common problems we're seeing right now. Oh, when we um, dog is a huge problem. It's brutal. Yeah. So um, we carry a product called X Seed. It's actually another Minnesota company out of Clear Lake uh, and it will outperform the national brands any day. Ooh, we love supporting seed. local. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so that's that's my favorite product for dog you spots. Can't, right there's now. nothing you can really do to prevent it other than train your dog to go in the rocks right, or right. something. Yeah. Or in your but neighbor's you can, yard. The neighbor's yard is always <laughs> a good that occasionally but you too. can fix it up fast. Yep. And good. then weeding as well. I've been suggesting weed free zone all season long and I haven't had one customer come back and say hey this hasn't worked out. So okay. weed free zone by far is one of my favorites. It, it covers the vast majority of broadleaf weeds that are problematic in our area. I was out running the other day. I saw some critters running through people's lawns. Cute little bunnies. I like seeing them. I don't think they did. Right. That's right. So uh, repelling bunnies and other small mammals is, is a big challenge, especially if you're growing edibles. Another one of my favorites here is plant skid product. I've talked about it on your show before. It actually is a Swedish product. It means plant protection. Huh. It's it's uh, dried blood. And so it triggers that flight response sure. in animals to get out of there. Oh, like yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Why. <laughs> little that, squeamish. That did terrify me. That's right. But plant skid, uh, there are other repellents that work great, but plant skid is my favorite. It's what I use at home. And it's not going to hurt them. Just going to repel them away. Correct. Have some fungicides. Too. Fun Sides exactly so uh, common uh, diseases right now are what you want to be in your garden looking for daily. Uh, copper fungicide is an all natural product, it takes care of early blight, black spot, powdery mildew, uh, some of the most common things that people are coming in and asking us about. And that's about. a big problem this year, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. You know, every year it's problematic with the rain we've had here in June, well, last in June, I guess. Sure. Um, you know, funguses and diseases are more prevalent. Um, the other thing that's coming now are Japanese beetles. Last year it was a, a little, um, they weren't as aggressive as everybody kind of thought. You never really know. Know, but um, they're an easy bug to identify. They have kind of a green iridescent back um, and you'll see them forming in clumps in your garden if, if, if you have them and there's a direct control for those as well. Um, and just like us, water and food. Plants are still going to need water and food and sure. we're to that point now where if, if you've been using a slow release fertilizer or compost, you need to regenerate that. So I brought some dry fertilizers here. Dr. Earth is an all organic brand, safe for kids and pets, uh, very easy to use. Excellent. Uh, another one of my favorites. Yep. We have some uh, you just brought some I just brought some perennials. Just yeah, little... there's echinacea and yarrow. Those yeah. are blooming right now, especially pretty. Speaking of that, too, um, when you water, you want to use a soaker hose or a drip hose. Overhead watering can okay. um, promote some of these diseases and funguses. Oh, the sprinklers are so fun, though. They are fun. They're fun to run They're through. Easy. My little girl loves to run They're through those easy. sprinklers. But yeah, if you guys do those, you guys actually have some of those up here in your gardens, and, yeah, and things are looking and fabulous. Look at everything up here. It really looks great. That's right. Adam, thank you so much. We thank appreciate you. it. Some yeah. great tips for the summer.